Greetings, I hope you are all doing great. Thank you for being here. Today I'm going to tell you how to set up your Logitech Capture so you can use it for your own streaming. And this is actually a free software that comes from Logitech. It's very easy to use and very versatile because it comes with two sources. As you would see here on the side, it comes with two sources of, um, uh, here it is. It has source number one, which is this webcam. Source number two is anything you choose. It's very simple. It has a variety of things. You can choose um, the same webcam. You can choose another monitor. Display. You can use any other file that you have opened. It also comes a whole variety of settings here, you know, for your webcam for these sources. Like, for example, the color, the overlay. You can have a whole, a whole bunch of settings for any of your uh, sources. Obviously, you can choose what uh, source of microphone you are using. It has shortcuts as well. It has, once you log in, you can have a variety of things and you can back up your settings. So this is basically the software. The app itself comes with transitions. This is one. Uh, this is the first source, which is the webcam. Then the second source will be the desktop. And then you can have both. As you can see here, this is now the application. And you can actually uh, minimize and change this one as much as you want. You can do the other way around. You can have them adjacent side by side. Or you have a larger cam view. And then you have the software next to it or any other open window. So this is basically it. If you want to go... For more information, you can easily go to the website uh, where the um, Logitech can be downloaded. And also, you can go there and get all the information that you are looking for. And here also, it's explained that this is a multi-source, basically two sources. Uh, the webcam and another source like desktop screening. It's very good for recording your desktop. It has a vertical uh, video. You can have a variety of actually of videos in any uh, format you like. It can connect as a separate independent webcam called Logitech Capture. So you can have like um, uh, the whole software acts as a source, as a cam, a camera source. And you can add that to your live broadcast, whether it is OPS or any or Express or any other software you are using for broadcasting, this can connect as a webcam. You can have text overlays like I'm doing right now. Here is my um, handle, Twitter handle. And you have a whole variety of uh, controls, whether it is for the camera or for the studio, including these transitions that I'm doing right now, like these ones here. This is for the webcam. This is for the desktop. And here is for both with the webcam is very small here and you can increase of course this as much as you want you do the here the opposite you have the webcam larger and the software or the desktop uh, smaller you can have them next to each other one is larger than the other or you can have the other way around software becomes smaller and this cam is bigger so this is basically it one of the issues that i ran to at the beginning when i started this whole thing was that i wasn't able to turn on my uh, old logitech webcam c925e so i found a solution on the web it's a very simple solution you go to the software folder right here it says uh, windows program capture and then you go bin. In the bin, what you can find here is something called Logitech Capture exe.config. This file here. You open this with your Notepad or for me Notepad plus plus. And basically here it is. And all you have to do is just change these two values. Actually, this is the same. Okay, so it's it's right here. Uh, but we need to change this value 085B that's for me uh, where do I find this value I go here and type device manager I already typed it here you open your device manager and basically you go to your cameras and here it is sometimes you find this under USB and sometimes you find it under cameras I found it myself under camera which is here so here you go, you have properties, and then you go 
details you go to hardware IDs and here it is so here 0 six zero four six d is already here the vid id uh, but pid zero eight five b so i just type zero eight five b here actually the original value was different uh, similar to this one which is zero eight nine four so all you have to do is just do that little change only pid here and then you save it and that's it that's all you need to do next time you launch your Logitech uh, it will work just fine so that's basically the trick it's right here now it wouldn't be here if I didn't make that small change again this can be found at the normal application folder right here Logitech capture and in Durbin you find the application that you want to work with is here called Logitech capture exe.config you open that with any uh, word editor or tab editor and you just change the check first of all your video id is compatible it's the same like the one already here so that should be fine and then bid that's what you need to change next time you turn on your uh, you have to save it of course and you have to log in edit it as admin where you change this file as admin or you edit it as an admin that's basically it very simple very straightforward then you will have very great software that can be used in a variety of ways including for example if you have let's say you have zoom for example you can go here and use zoom and let me first go to the and so i can show you what i'm doing here is zoom I'll open zoom now zoom open so in my choice of camera you can see here I have the webcam which is busy right now but I also have Logitech capture here so I can import Logitech tab capture here as you can see it here now in zoom as my source cam uh, if I go change it here to my um, any of these can like now here so you could see it if you go back to zoom there you go you see now zoom with virtual background the same virtual background that we had before so just disable that one uh, you don't need virtual background and that's it that will be the source for your video as you can see it here it's uh it's uh this one is is just imported from logic capture as you can see it and it works wonderfully as double say screen sharing as zoom as you know already has its own uh, screen sharing abilities that's basically it i hope you benefited from this little video and i wish you all the best and so next time uh, let's use the software and let me know about your own experience if you like this video please like it and share it with others subscribe if you haven't done so and we'll see you next time Take good care and goodbye.